Parents have to know that this is a reality. A San Antonio man has been arrested and charged for harboring a runaway child and child trafficking. Good evening, I'm Matt Roy in for Darian Trotter tonight. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says Diego Alejandro Cortez lured and enticed a 10-year-old girl through social media. News 4 San Antonio's Chelsea Torres spoke with a child advocate about dangers sh social media can have on a child. She joins us now with more. This is a reality of our times. Just days after a San Antonio registered sex offender is charged and arrested for luring a 10 year old girl away from her home, child advocate Carrie Wilcoxon says parents really need to monitor their child's phone. Law enforcement says it all the time. If you're going to provide a cell phone to your child, you need to be parenting. And by parenting, we mean supervision. 24-year-old Diego Alejandro Cortez was arrested by Hayes County Sheriffs. The sheriffs believe there are more victims. Deputy Anthony Hippolito is urging parents to understand the magnitude of the situation. Investigators were able to determine that Mr. Cortez on more than one occasion um, had sexual intercourse with this missing 10-year-old juvenile. Um, and they also learned that there are um, other children that are involved um, in and around the San Antonio area. Hayes County Sheriff say Cortez used Snapchat accounts pretending to be a teenager to lure children. Wilcoxon gave tips on what parents should do right now so another child does not fall victim. I say to parents, one, know that this is absolutely a reality. The chances of this happening has happened. Check. It's happening. It's been happening. Check, check, check. Number two, those phones are bought they're purchased and they're provided by the parents. Therefore, the parents own those phones. They need to get nosy, they need to be parents, and they need to get inside those phones. Wilcoxon say parents should also be aware of what a predator looks like. So a child might think that they're speaking to another child. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office are asking parents to reach out to their investigators if they do feel their child has become a victim. We did reach out for updates on this investigation, but have not heard back at this time. You can find more information at news4sa.com. Chelsea Torres, News 4 San Antonio.